Hi, we're very happy you're taking time to watch this video of our 2016 Freightliner M2-106 car carrier. This is a crew cab true four-door Freightliner that we special ordered with a lot of the features that have been a resounding success with many of our customers. Larger horsepower, larger axles, better driver's seat, locking rear differential. These are some of the features that have just been a hit for us. The Crew Cab Freightliner offers a tremendous amount of passenger space. With this specification, you can carry six passengers with ease. This truck has power heated mirrors. Each entrance door to this chassis has its own set of steps dedicated for easy entry. Dual 50 gallon aluminum fuel tanks. You can see one here on the driver's side and the other is on the passenger side. A six gallon diesel exhaust fluid tank helps this vehicle comply with the latest emissions requirements. As we transition down the left hand side of this carrier, we'll take a moment to focus on the SP9000 side puller, which is equipped with fully hydraulic stabilizer legs with adjustable flipper feet. Watch as the stabilizer extends and the pavement pad rests flat upon the ground with a little adjustment to balance itself on uneven ground. Repositioning the flipper foot for instances where ice or better traction with the foot is necessary is easy. All you do is just remove the pin, lock it in place, and extend the leg to get a better bite on the ground. The outer edge of the flipper foot has a serrated edge to help ensure you get a good bite on the ground. As we transition to the main properties of the side puller, the recovery side, I'll take a moment to show how the Revolution boom head by In The Ditch is easily installed and properly installed. Setting up to use the removable boom head is very simple. Simply remove the wire rope guide by depressing the retainer clips. Pull out some extra rope and place it in the Revolution boom head and reinstall the clip assembly. It's easy as that. Your wire rope will be secured within the Revolution boom head and it'll be ready for use. Now I'm going to take a couple of moments to demonstrate a few features of different ways you can use the SP9000 side puller. Use of a four ton snatch block is pretty much essential when you're using a side puller. It's just going to give you the ability to redirect your rope for different poles and different angles. Here I demonstrate how you can achieve a high pull from a low point by simply attaching the snatch block to the flipper foot. If you need to two-part your line, this demonstration here is a good example of how you can tie back to your side puller using a snatch block. Here's a demonstration of how you can get a forward pull using the side puller using a snatch block anchored to the upper tie back point on the side puller. What really sets the SP series apart from other brands is that you can pull directly from the center boom head. Virtually 180 degree diameter around the back of the truck is operating zone for the SP series. Now this truck is equipped with a four function wireless remote control. Watch as we demonstrate how easy it is to operate your side puller winch with the wireless remote control. Now we're going to take a moment and move on to the toolboxes, which are provided by In The Ditch Towing Products. These are the new Pro Series 70 inch toolboxes. And on the driver's side here, we've gone with the full length shelf option and we place dividers along the top shelf and the lower shelf to give your equipment some separation. In the ditch toolboxes are tremendous. The doors are heavy duty. They actually have a 400 pound load rating that is on the door. We've equipped these toolboxes with two bright white LED lights to help illuminate your boxes at nighttime. They do a fantastic job. The popular storage fender option is equipped on this truck. We have LED strip lighting installed inside here to help keep your equipment inside illuminated at nighttime as well. We've installed a 70 inch long aluminum storage tray on top of the toolbox on the driver's side and it has two dividers giving you three separate compartments. It's a great place to keep things that you don't want inside the toolbox. Think of a 10 foot J hook chain or a chain bridle. 
Here we're going to take a moment and let Ty demonstrate how the LCG bed gives a fantastic dump angle when you leave the air in the rear suspension. As he raises the bed, you can see if you had a uh, wrecked vehicle that didn't have tires, it would easily slide off the deck. Next, we're going to take a moment to show you the opposite fantastic advantage of the LCG. By lowering the rear suspension, this provides a phenomenal load angle for loading low profile cars. Now, if this truck had a spring suspension on it, we wouldn't have this option. It would be a fixed angle every time you put the bed down. We made sure that this winch had an air-free spool for the winch release on the 9,000 pound planetary winch. We also gave this winch the option on the wireless remote control to be run from the same remote that the side puller winch can be operated from. Better yet, we ensured that there were manual handles on both sides of the truck for full operation of all the bed and side puller functions. Here we take a moment to demonstrate how Chevron's 4,000 pound rated wheel lift operates. You should notice the speed of operation of the wheel lift and the carrier as we demonstrate these features. And that's because we've installed an upgraded 24 gallon per minute hydraulic pump versus the standard 18 gallon per minute pump. Chevron's L-Arm system is very simple and very durable. It's easy to use, just simply remove the L-Arm, drop it in the C-channel and install the T-Pin to secure it in place. Chevron provides T-Pin hole locations at different positions so that you'll never be caught in a situation that the T-Pin won't be able to go in when the L-Arm is snug against the tire. If one hole doesn't line up, the other one will. Another nice feature of the L-arm placement on this carrier is it's conveniently located just forward of the wheel lift that when it's in its standard position, retracted full up, the L-arms cannot be removed. Henceforth, they cannot be stolen. Next, we're gonna spend some time focusing on the custom light bar built by Idaho Wrecker Sales. Many times in our videos before, we've shown this light bar, but it's always been during daylight hours, and we thought it's about time to really let this thing shine and show our customers how it performs in a dark environment. Now our light bar has 22 Tomate LED light modules spread around the periphery of the bar. Each light module has four individual lights within itself. This makes for a tremendously bright light bar during nighttime. The alley lights that are mounted on the lower portion of the light bar are on a swivel base, so you can reposition them to the side of the truck to angle down lower to the deck. You can put them in any position you need them. The benefits of this light bar, apart from being aesthetically a good looking light bar, is that it is much longer than everybody else's. It gets the lights out to the side of the load when you have a car on the carrier. This helps for that vehicle that's behind you when you're loaded to still see some lights flashing on your light bar. Now we're gonna move on to some of the individual functions of the light bar. The alley lights and the upper work lights on the carrier, the deck lights, are LED. Goodbye are the days of the incandescent rubber housing work light. These just offer so much more light and last infinitely longer. The upper portion of our light bar has LED modules that serve as brake, turn, and tail. The light bar is controlled by Tomate's power link switch panel inside the cab, and it offers a traffic advisor function for the light bar. As we show the different modes of the arrow option, center out, arrow left, and arrow right, please also notice the forward flash is in a standard random pattern. So what's happening on the back of the light bar in traffic advisor mode is not being duplicated on the front of the light bar. It stays in a warning caution amber flash pattern. Now we have installed the same LED lights to serve as deck lighting and you can see how these can be repositioned to whatever angle you need. This serves a tremendous benefit to the tow truck operator as he needs to focus light underneath the car or maybe just off to the side of the truck to help aug augment the alley light from the side puller. We have duplicated the same lights for lower work lights for your wheel lift, and they are also on a swivel pedestal mount. You should notice that all the body lights and tail lights are flashing. This is a popular option we call the Digital Marker Strobe Kit. 
we install this. It's on a switch in the cab, a separate switch from the light bar controls, but it gives your body lights a strobing capability along with your tail lights. One of the benefits of that is it kind of gives you some red lights flashing along with your ambers. On the right hand side of the truck, again we have installed in the ditch Pro Series toolboxes at the 70 inch length. However, over here we've gone with a half length shelf option with the jack tray mount designed to carry the two and a half ton torn floor jack. The floor jack option has been a resounding success for in the ditch. Everybody wants it and numerous other competitors are trying to copy it. Plain and simple, this helps make it easy for the driver to remove these typically awkward shaped jacks in a manner where they don't have to bust their knuckles trying to dig it out sideways. Installing a lug wrench bracket that will hold two lug wrenches has kind of become a common theme for our truck builds. It's popular, it's forward in the box, it helps get your four point lug wrenches up and out of the way. Another popular uh, accessory that we install is the three in one hook rack. We've mounted it high on the back wall. This is a popular option for hanging duct tape, electrical tape, bailing wire, anything that you want up and out of the way so you don't have to wrestle it trying to get it out of your toolbox. And again, this toolbox is equipped with the same LED lighting that we've installed on the driver side of the truck. Bright white LED oval lights, two each for this toolbox, along with the LED strip lighting for the storage fender. Storage fender on the right hand side of the truck is equipped with the same four gallon trash can as the left hand side, but over here we've got the five gallon yellow liquid can. Now mounted cleanly and neatly behind the toolbox here on the passenger side is a 70 inch long aluminum lumber basket with drain holes. Convenient place to place your lumber or other long items that just don't fit in your box. Now different from the opposite side of the truck, this side is equipped with a 70 inch open aluminum toolbox tray. No dividers. Again, this is a good place to put a flat nose shovel, a pry bar that's over 36 inches in length. Anything that's long and narrow that you can store in the tray will sit nicely here. At Idaho Wrecker Sales, we believe very strongly that wiring and air supply lines need to be sound and secure. So we've installed aluminum wire and air line routing brackets on the front of both of the toolboxes to protect the wiring to the lights. And on the passenger side, there is also an air service fitting supplied at the end of this mount and the airline stays tucked neatly up and protected within this wire routing bracket. Now we're going to move up and we're going to focus more on the chassis and it gives me a good opportunity to talk about the special features of this truck. Here on the uh, passenger side you can see the second 50 gallon fuel tank. Again both doors have their own set of entry steps dedicated. Each entry door has its own stainless steel grab handle to help with its entrance into the cab. The passenger side seating in the front of this Freightliner is a two person bench seat with a storage compartment contained beneath the seat cushion. On the driver's side, we've installed Freightliner's premium air driver seat, and what a wonderful seat it is. Apart from the up-down functions offered by this seat, which is standard on just about every air seat, you have three adjustable air lumbar settings and an adjustable seat shock absorber. On the opposite side of the seat, there are three knobs that offer different functions for adjustment for the seat slide, for the front of the seat height, and the seat position in the back. This Freightliner has a large 18 inch steering wheel that has adjustable tilt and telescoping functions. An easy to read gauge cluster with primary and secondary air gauges. Speed control switches are located to the left of the instrument cluster. We've also added a PTO on off operation light for easy visibility for the operator when he's out of the cab. Freightliner M2106s have a very clean and efficient dash layout. One of the best design improvements over the years was the relocation of the automatic shift handle from the column to the dash. Here we'll move to the center of the dash where we can see the easy layout of the switches and the stereo. The stereo is an AM, FM, CD stereo, MP3, has a USB connector output on it and it's Bluetooth as well. Another nice feature of the Freightliners is the window switches are contained on the dash rather than on the doors, where the opening and closing over the years helps them to fail. The air brake system on this Freightliner has an auto park brake, so when you switch to park with the gear selector, your parking brakes will auto set. 
Here we take a moment to show you the other switches, the mirror heat, the air suspension switch, the door lock switch, the DPF manual regeneration switch, overdrive off switch, and here's a special switch we've added to this Freightliner, a manual engine fan on and off switch. And lastly, here's your PTO switch followed by the 12 volt outlet, which is occupied by a cigarette lighter. Two storage compartments rest high on the headliner forward of the driver and the passenger. The center panel holds our switch panels for operation of the light bar, the deck lights, the wireless remote control system, and the strobe lights. Again, we offer a second PTO operation light. The rear seating area of the Freightliner crew cab is tremendous. It's large. You could virtually have somebody walk in front of someone sitting in this seat. As we move to the front, roll the hood forward. We'll take a moment to mention the 6.7 liter Cummins engine, rated at 300 horsepower, 660 foot-pounds of torque, backed by a five-year, 200,000 mile Cummins extended warranty. And this is protection one coverage, which means the turbo, the injectors, and the water pump are covered during that period. This engine is backed by an Allison automatic transmission. It's 2100 series, it's a six speed. So running down the interstate at 75 mile an hour doesn't have your RPMs running at 26 or 2700. This truck will run comfortably around 2000 to 2100 when you're running highway speed on cruise. We thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope you like what you see. And if you do, don't hesitate. Pick up the phone, give us a call. You'll be glad you did. Thank you and have a wonderful day.